Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my updated everyday makeup routine. I was scrolling on my profile and I realized I haven't done one in over a year and my makeup has changed a lot since then. So yeah, I feel like it's an annual tradition and I have to show you my makeup routine. Also, I know I haven't uploaded in a while and I will get into that in a separate video. I just want this video to be like makeup related so not everyone wants to know what's up with me. I'm gonna start by putting my hair away. I'm using this cutie little headband from Drift Avenue. It's so cute. She is mega expensive though. <laughs> so is she a necessity? Not really, but she is the vibes. Before getting started, I have dry, sensitive skin. I tend to like glowy kind of makeup, so that's what I'm gonna be going for. I've already done most of my skincare. I do believe a good skincare uh, routine is super important to get your base looking flawless. This is the moisturizer I'm using as of late, the Sunjun um, Barrier Cream by Etude House. I really, really love this stuff. It's so great. And then I've been alternating between these two sunscreens. You guys know the Isn't Tree is like one of my favorite, like all-time favorite. I've gone through so many of them. But lately I've been really loving the Bondi Sense one. And this one you cannot get in Canada for some reason. It's really good. I've used the Isn't Tree so many times. So let me go ahead and use the Bondi one today. It's unscented. It's really great. It doesn't leave a white cast. But it has more of that traditional kind of sunscreen texture to it, which I really don't mind actually. I feel like it's very nostalgic and I really like it. See, that blended out so beautifully in such a short amount of time. I like to prep my lips with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I can't believe I used to be like a makeup based channel. Like, I would mostly do makeup on my channel. I kind of do be missing it because like beauty is still such a huge part of my life and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Future Do as kind of like a glowy little base. I do about this much. And then I work it in, mostly on the high points of my cheeks. I might have used a little much. We're gonna go ahead and start with the brows, which is my least favorite part. Genuinely, like, if you like doing your brows, what the hell is wrong with you? I feel like no one likes it. It's so bad. Like, these brows, they just never end up, like, looking the same or good. And they make or break my makeup, so sometimes, like, I could be having a good makeup day, but because my brows aren't behaving... Mm -mm. So I have just been using like an eyeshadow, this palette is from Revolution so I just mix the brown and the dark the dark brown and the black I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. brow lift this is like an eyebrow gel it is pretty affordable which is why I got it but I will say this this doesn't do it for me um, back then you guys know I was a ride or die benefit brow tint but for some brow tint brow gel for some reason it started flaking on me like non-stop and horrible horrible flakes so i just i can't use this anymore so yeah i'm using the elf one but it's like not even my fave tbh and i just use like a light amount i don't really do like major like laminated type of brows i just like do a small amount and up they're probably gonna fall soon anyway so hollywood flawless filter is still a part of my routine it has been for like three years i don't know i just really like this stuff honestly i will have everything linked below but to be honest you really don't need all of this stuff to get the look you can probably use whatever you have at home i just i like sephora i like high-end i like makeup products so if you are like me and you want like you know good makeup recommendations i think all of these products i'm using are fantastic but as i said you don't need them foundation we're moving on to i'm using this is the say uh, beauty foundation it is the glowy super skin foundation i have the shade 10 i do feel like maybe i did get a little bit of sun as of late so maybe it'll be fine but when i first got it it was a little too dark but i decided to keep it for 
the winter. You have to shake this very well because it's very liquidy. It's mostly skincare uh, infused with like a little bit of pigment. I use about this much, which is very small. And this is a new step that I've integrated into my routine is I take like a spatula, a makeup spatula. Um, I've seen this all over like Korean, Doyen makeup. Um, so yeah, it's just a very popular makeup technique at the moment and it works for me. So what you do is you slide the, what is this? You slide the spatula and then you drag it down to get like a nice amount of foundation on here and then you just basically go ahead and apply it to your face like so and it's supposed to give you like the thinnest layer of foundation so it's really nice if you don't want like that cakey look and what I love the most about this is like you truly use the smallest amount um, it's kind of insane like you guys saw that's all I'm gonna use for my skin. I love this foundation. It's so dewy, so beautiful. Like no matter how much hydration or prep I do, there's always like little patches of skin on my face, which annoys me so much. Next, I'm going in with Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty, Rare Beauty um, Liquid Touch Blush in the shade Happy. I love this stuff so much. I know a lot of people are like, uh, you have to do less than a dot, it's so pigmented. Not for me, babes. That is what I start with, but I'm probably gonna add more. And then this brush, this airbrush stipple brush by e.l.f., like, you have to get it. It's so cheap and it's so good and it's perfect for liquid blush. Oh shoot, I forgot, I usually do bronzer before, but it's okay, it's okay. Anyways. that was so easy okay I usually do this step before I do blush but this is cream bronzer I'm using the Merit Balm the easiest bronzer you will ever use that's how it's marketed and it's so good it's so lovely I just use bronzer in these areas and then this one I like to blend with the beauty blender next is concealer I'm using rare beauty concealer I have the shade 210 and I'm going to apply like so, mustache, chin. If I had a little like setting spray, this is the moment that I would just drench my skin and then I would wait a little bit for it to set and then I would start blending out. But I do not have a setting spray at the moment. Ouch, I'm getting a cramp. Okay, I'll just go ahead and blend this out. Depends how I'm feeling, but I also have this brush from It Cosmetics that I really like, especially for precision. So if I want to get like a nice snatch nose contour, I will help. I will use the help of this brush to like really get a nice straight line. And then usually like I like to do this little crease motion like here. And then I use the other like fluffy brush to blend out the edges and that's why I do a concealer last because let's say that I went overboard with the blush I can always just tone it down with a little concealer I also like to be precise and I don't put any concealer where like my eye folds because it always creases and never looks good so I keep it pretty down from here then I use the beauty blender and I just blend this out. I did order a new concealer because I feel like this one, it's not that it's not good. Like I've loved the Rare Beauty Concealer. I think this is my second bottle. It's just that I feel like under my eye, maybe it doesn't cover up the dark circle well enough. So I ordered the NARS Creamy Concealer. So yeah, I'm excited to first of all, see what the hype is about because it's a cold classic. But also, I think it'll just be like, um, a, like the shade that I pick is a little bit peachy, so it'll be good to cancel out the dark circle. Cause I do like how I do my makeup, but sometimes I look at pictures and I'm like, oh, the under eye is looking a little gray. And yeah, I know there's always color corrector as a possibility, but if I'm honest, 
don't want to do color corrector. It's like an additional step and also I ordered a color corrector from Amazon. Like it was the LA Girl color corrector and then it never arrived. I waited two months, it never arrived. And I checked my like tracking code and it said your parcel is most likely lost. So I asked for a refund and yeah, it never arrived. Powder is Huda Beauty Powder. I have mine in Pound Kirk. This is just the itty bitty one because who needs like a huge amount of powder? You really don't need that much. So I just use this much. I take a little powder puff. This one is from like Trick Wall Cosmetics. It's like huge brand here in the UK. Like all the UK babes, that's all they've been using. Yeah. I do a little patty and patty motion and then just go ahead and set. I set quite lightly and I have to be precise. Let me pull out my mirror. Okay, like so. And see, even that much is, that much powder is too much, so. Just like working it into the puff and then setting the area. And once again, I, I try to like really avoid the crease because it creases. Duh. I'll do a little powder on the sides of the mouth right here. I still have so much powder. I'll just put it on the puff and use it for next time. Now we're gonna go ahead and like kind of set all of these cream products with a little powder moment. I'm gonna be using um, my list bronzer. I have shade medium. This is just a matte bronzer. Use it a little bit. I don't do anything. Just giving myself a little bit of color. Maybe trying to snatch her up here. Now the famous Dior pink blush. And I'm using a little bit as well. I think when I first got this, I, I used to be like super heavy handed with it. But now I've calmed down. Like I think. I love pink blush, but I'm like, let's let's keep it down. Let's tone it down. Cause honestly, I saw a picture of me and like had like these big like clown cheeks, and I was like, oh, oh, she got too excited with the blush. She got too excited, and I I, I have a strong feeling, like, cause right now everyone is obsessed with like bright pink blush. We're all gonna look back on these pictures, like we looked back on our Anastasia did brows, and then I will just go back and like the powder puff. that and just like toning it down really and then you guys for the past two years it has not been an everyday makeup tutorial if i didn't do fake freckles can you imagine if i'm telling you i have not been doing fake freckles for like at least seven months i fell out of love with it i don't know i just i think i had my fake freckles for a moment it was fun and everything but now i'm just like not really into it as much anymore i still think it's super cute don't get me wrong i like i look back at these pictures and i'm like oh it looks so natural and so good so i don't have any regrets like that but i'm just not into it anymore i don't know i've outgrown it isn't that crazy like i've built so much of my social media presence like my youtube channel with like fake freckle tutorials testing fake freckle products everything like so and I don't know, I'm just not into fake freckles anymore. I'm making this like a much bigger deal than it really is, but yeah. And out of everything that I've tried all the time and everything, I always go back and use this, which is the Freck, um, the OG, like original. I have the XL because I need a lot of this. I use it all, all, all the time. But I use this to create beauty marks. So I always start with my natural ones that have kind of like been covered. The reason why I use this is the undertone is just perfect and it's long lasting. That's all I do. Yeah. I'm a changed woman. Who would have thought? Not me, that's for sure. Okay, next I go in with highlighter. I'm using the Dior Backstage Glow palette. Like this palette is so gorgeous. It brings me so much joy and happiness. I go in with this one and then the pink one using the Makeup by Mario brush. So I start with like the gold one usually and I'll just do like a little bit. I would say this highlighter palette is definitely more on the like natural 
like side it's not like a crazy highlight but that's what I love about it and then I'll grab um, a little bit of the pink just a bit and smile and I put it right here like no one can tell that it's like a pink highlight but I can tell so that's what matters and then I like to use the white and I do it for nose nose highlight okay we move on to eyes and as of late I just I don't know i have not like super inspired with eyeshadow I haven't really been doing any eyeshadow looks so I'm just grabbing like a boring transition shade and I'm putting that through my crease where's my blending brush at no primer I'm just like yeah I'm really going in like that I always like to drag this out sometimes I'll use my list bronzer just a little bit deepen out the outer corner eyeliner I'm gonna do a thin line across my eye I'm using just the Maybelline eyeliner uh, any eyeliner will do I bought this one because it's cheap I'm doing a super thin line by the way The line that I did is like from the pupil till here, so I don't really go into the inner corner. It's just to give me the illusion of like a fuller lash. Then for the wing, I like to put on mascara and then do it after. Is that weird? I don't know. That's just what works for me. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using the Muji Lash Curler. Guys, this is like absolutely game changing. This is also another thing that I'm like, you have to get because not only is it so inexpensive, it is wonderful. It's so good. Um, this works better than like hated lash curlers in my opinion. So how I curl my lash, I start with like the very end of the lash, like so. Then I curl the middle and then I curl the very root. See the difference? It's so good, it's so good. I like to go in with mascara right away just like in case I lose that curl, but usually it's fine, but still, I don't take any chances. I'm using the Roman Han All Fix uh, Mascara in Long Black. She is my absolute favorite red or die, my favorite mascara. I've never like tried a mascara that I've been like so in love with, like I've been in love with this one. this speaks for itself but we're gonna wait for it to dry a little bit and do a second coat also a tip is to get the tips like that i swear it makes the world of a difference what's going on she says she's getting too hot what do you mean what do you mean you're getting too hot bro my camera is so like Let's, let's wrap this up. Let's hurry up. I love glitter. I've been loving glitter and I've been wearing it in my everyday makeup. Um, pretty much every time that I wear makeup, I love it so much. So I alternate between these two. I have the NYX Glow Shot in the shade Come Through Coconuts. Found this through Erica Titus. I still love Erica Titus so much, you guys, so much. Or I use this one by Armani, which is more of a champagne gold color. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued though. Um, but they, they still have the, this product, it's just that they came out with like different shades. But today I'm gonna use this one, Come Through Coconuts. Who's texting me? Oh, no one. Just a notification that um, more apartments are available. Not like I can afford any of them. <laughs> I go above. This goes into the inner corner. Mm-hmm. She's gorge, right? Yeah. And then we do a little under the eye. And then you could really like just leave it at that because it's so gorge. Or you could level up the party which why would you not want to and I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay uh, Space Cowboy eyeshadow typically use like a little eyeshadow brush I'll do a little in the inner corner oh yeah why did that dull that down though? maybe it's just the camera setting and then whatever's left over I just kind of use it on the middle of my lid 
now that we have like the full picture, it's time to add the wings, right? It just would have felt... Ah! Are you kidding me? Anyways, it just would have felt wrong to add them earlier, you know? I try to go for more of a straight liner look. You know what? That's good enough for me. You know what? Yeah. I'm good with that. I'm bueno with that. Now, the only thing left are the lips. And to be honest, the lips is what like changes most of the time. So I don't even know like what to wear. I guess I'll do like, I love this Refi lip liner. I have it in the shade Vaughn. <gasps> no! No! I broke it! That's totally my bad though. Make sure you retract it fully before, you know, putting back the cap on. Okay, so this is how I do my lips. Bottom lip, I just kind of do the same, except like here. Overline, a little bit, a little bit. And then connect it to my normal lip line for my cupid's bow. I like to round it out a little bit. Great. I would usually just do like a little glossiana on top. I also have the new Rare Beauty lip oil. I could do that one as well. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go back in with a little more Laneige because honestly, this is the most realistic version of what I would wear. Or I also have my Dior lip oil, but it's like all the way over there. I'm like, I'm all the way over here. So. Yeah, you guys, this is it. Yeah, this is my updated little makeup look. Um, I just feel like, hold on, thumbnail time. I just feel like makeup is one of those things, always brings me joy, always brings me happiness. I love playing around with makeup. It's just so great. It's a great way to connect with like your inner child, your inner artist. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do makeup. I sometimes put it on and then take it off right after. Yeah, like makeup is such a comforting uh, outlet for me and I love it so much. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for being on a hiatus. I'm guessing if you're still here after all this time, that means that you are a major fan. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that one, but I will say that I do apologize for not being here as much and it was not intentional. I think sometimes just life does not go as planned. And also I have just been really tired. It's been a long winter and I think it's normal for people to just not be like on top of their stuff during winter time. I'm also fasting. It's currently Ramadan for all my Muslim sisters and brothers out there. Uh, Ramadan Kareem. Hope your fast is going well. I know mine is going okay. I mean, it could be worse, could be better, but it is what it is. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.